second list, baby. I cannot believe that just happened. What's up guys? I'm here with my buddy Justin and uh, we're going to head out and run some set lines on the Edisto River today or bush hooks or whatever you want to call them. And there's a certain number of lakes and rivers in the state of South Carolina that you're, it's legal to run set lines, not all of them. And then there's a, a few of those that it's legal to run live bait and the Edisto is one of them. So we're going to put out 50 lines. Justin's got his uh, set line permit and uh, we're going to do everything we can to, to be as legal as possible. And uh, we're going to put the lines out and try to pull some, uh, some big flatheads out of there. And they had a tournament uh, on the river a few weeks ago and a guy caught like a 70 pounder. So I don't know if we'll pull anything like that, but we're hoping we can catch some nice ones. So uh, stick around and hopefully we can uh, show you guys everything we do and hopefully show you some fish. You ever caught one on that them giant ones before? Yeah. Right. That, that thing right there is a tank. Yeah. I probably would have thrown that one back, but I can't. And I caught that one. What happened to this kid play the other day? close to the surface. Usually the swivel, I get the swivel a foot or less under the water. All right. And sometimes I'll run it out of the water. All right. All right. These are deep hole swift water lines. They've got six to 10 ounces of weight on them on each line. Yeah. And um, the lines themselves are about 15 feet long. And I've got 10 off circle hooks on those. You run live bait on those live too? Live bait on these. All right. And these, I'm not gonna unroll these, but they're, um, these are, some of these are live bait lines, some of them are not. The, the live bait lines have the same hooks as these. They're eight all eagle claw hooks. Um, some of these I have five all eagle claw hooks on. Yeah. I, I run cut bait on those, either cut brim or um, deer hard or deer liver. All right. So you hook them right there? Right there, yep. All right. And that allows them to swim and it'll, won't kill yep. them? All They'll right. stay alive for a long time. I got right. you. All right. Good gosh. <laughs> We're gonna try one in this deep hole right here under this tree, coming off this little creek. Back in. Huh? How far back in? Right. 
got in there somewhere. There's a snake right there on that tree. I don't hate snakes. I just don't want them in the boat. <laughs> Darn, he's bigger than I thought he was. Son, I could only see half of him. Right there. I reckon I'll just put it on there and hope he don't fall in the boat. Well, we got a pretty healthy one. We're gonna put it on the big, whatever, 9, 10, 12 uh, circle hook. See if we can make it work with a half pound of lead on there. <laughs> All right, everybody, we got the giant that's going on this one. We're almost done putting up our lines. I don't know how many we got out, less than 50, but we got this behemoth and we're hoping catches us a behemoth. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> if not, we'll eat him. <laughs> tiny fella right there. I grow up to be big and make me nervous I'm sure. What's up guys it's uh it's now the next morning and Justin and I have let these lines soak about uh 12 hours so we're gonna start checking them now and see what we got on them. Nope nothing. either hung up or got something big on it. No. Got a stick on it. Alright. This one, though, definitely has something on it. Love them so far. Pretty good sign there. It's a little bit better. Than You 
see any snakes? No, I don't. Blue. Darn, that's a, that one is real blue. Good gosh. Is that a... We almost didn't put one here. Huh? And we almost didn't put one here. Crazy huge or anything, but that's a darn good one, though. Yep. You gonna net him or swing him? There you go. That's a nice fish. Circle hook for good. Some nice fish. We ended up with six fish, um, three flatheads, and a couple of channel cats and a couple of blues. I thought that was a channel we first pulled it up, but or a blue, but that's a channel. So pretty good and um, a lot of you know two, three, four. That one's probably the big one's probably I don't know what seven, eight. You think? It. I got a we might wait and see what it weighs, but. Um, so Justin in the morning is gonna, he's gonna run the, or the lines again tonight and then um, try to film. I'm not gonna come back in the morning, but um, so we'll just kind of see what he does tomorrow. And uh, today was pretty good. That's not a bad run, especially with the water not really going up, going down. So stick around and we'll see what Justin catches tomorrow. Be careful when you're running in the river. <laughs> you never know what you might hit. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm out here checking the line this morning, staying. Couldn't make this morning, trying to kill a turkey. <clears throat> just pulled up the, these two lines. Got two fish on right here. One's right there. We got one right here. on fish number three. caught on a piece of deer heart. The other two were caught on live brown. Alright, this is fish number six. Get another piece of that here. About 15 pounds. Alright, pull up on fish number eight.
All right, good morning, everybody. This is the third morning of running set lines. Last night was definitely the night. We didn't catch that many, but the ones we caught were good. Uh, the big one, I haven't weighed him yet, but I'm I'm gonna guess he's gonna go between 60 and 70 pounds. But um, I'm gonna weigh him when I get back to the house. So, it was a good night. I really appreciate you guys watching. Obviously, I wasn't there at the end. It's really hard for Justin to drive the boat and check the lines and film all at the same time. I decided to go turkey hunting, but obviously I should have gone with him to check the lines. Uh, that big fish at the end weighed 63 pounds. That was a tank. And believe it or not, he went back again the next day. Uh, he didn't get any of this on video, but he caught a 24 pounder and a 36 or 33, something like that. So I'll put some pictures of all those fish here at the end of the video. Uh, I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been turkey hunting really hard. I'm going to put up a video here pretty soon. Uh, but I've got some other really fun stuff planned. I'm leaving to go bear hunting in Idaho here in a few days. Uh, and then the draw results out west have already started coming out. And I've already pulled two really good tags. So uh, what I'm saying is I got a lot of good stuff coming up uh, in state and out of state. So stick around. If you're not already subscribed, please uh, consider doing so so you don't miss out on anything that I post. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.